In this segment, we're going to continue looking at lettering for embroidery, and this time we'll specifically look at creating a monogram and the monogramming functions. So maybe what I'll do just to clean up is I'll just quickly create a new workspace, and then I'm going to go ahead and choose monogram, and the monogramming window opens up, and so I guess the first choice you have is to either work with initials or to work with a name or a word. So we'll start with initials, and I can come back to doing a name. So I'll put in there A and B and then C for three initials, and then basically the next option after this is going to be to choose a style. And if I click on the button for styles, you'll see that several styles come available and so if I just scroll down and choose a few of them you can see what they do to change the style of your initials so this one makes the center letter a little bit bigger um, I'll just look at a couple more this one kinda changes them to have like the C is really big and you got an AB beside it and this one's kinda like a diamond shape and you also have the ability to change the font in this window so if I find that I don't like the font I can change the font to be something else um, there's lots of different fonts to choose from it's all the same fonts that you have for your um, like for creating embroidery and the letterings so it's all the same you have all the same fonts available and once you're happy and you pick a font that you like then you can look at other things like you can rotate the lettering so if I wanted to I could rotate these letters um, or I could rotate their baseline so once you've got some lettering that you're happy with uh, you also have the ability oh and, and color sorry there's the other choices if you'd want to change your color in here and if you click on modify details it'll actually take you to the lettering object details where you can change other things like the type of stitch and whatnot. Now going back to the monogramming box. So there's actually some additional tabs in here over and above creating the initials or the monogram we can go into this option here to add ornaments or this tab to add a border. Now we'll start with ornaments so right now there are none and my option would be to add an ornament so if I click on add I have the choice of from my black work collection from my embroidery gallery collection from the motifs that I've created or and just actually choose an embroidery design that you have or have digitized or whatever so we will go ahead and just start with an embroidery gallery choice so here we are in embroidery gallery and I guess I could choose I don't know if it really matters why don't we just choose this little shamrock and say okay so here we have ornament number one and it's from my pattern set embroidery gallery and this is its number and what I need to do before it will actually show up on my screen is click the desired positions so we chose an ornament so what if I choose uh, position number two it puts it above and as soon as I did that, a whole bunch of extra um, options have become available. So first of all, the distance from the lettering is set at zero, and that's why it's basically touching my letter. So if I went ahead and increased that amount, you'll see that it moves that um, little ornament away from my embroidery. Now if I go ahead and said, well, why don't we put it on above and below? And maybe I'll put it on the sides too and now my embroidery hoops getting in the way a little bit I'm just gonna close this close my embroidery hoop and then reopen the the little monogramming option here so you can see that I've created one two three four locations for the little motif now one of the other options you have is the layout style and in this case I can choose either duplicates or mirrors would basically mirror image it so that they're all kind of opposites of each other and then there's also cycle which basically kind of is well in this case it looks very much the same but it basically turns your embroidery I believe each time it goes around so in in this particular case I think it's more or less the same as mirrors this is gonna give you the ability to mirror image the designs if you want to mirror image them vertically or horizontally 
and yeah so that's your you have the ability to adjust the size of it as well so if I wanted it to be larger I could or if I wanted to rotate my ornament I could and you'll find that some of the ornaments are actually multiple colors so if, if we had selected a, a two color embroidery design or a three color embroidery design you can have it sequence the set by color to minimize the color changes so that's it now you can even add an additional you don't have to just have one ornament if you want to have multiple ornaments you can do that too so if we wanted to select another one and so this is now ornament two and we'll decide that we'll put ornament two you know here and here and in these quadrants so you can do that as well and then all the same sort of adjustments that we had for the first ornament so you can see I've created a whole bunch now um, switching over to borders again add a border and in this case you're adding a border around your motif and so you would need to choose a shape that seemed appropriate and just say okay and I it puts it around there now I maybe need to do some adjustments because it's obviously not um, accounting for my ornaments that I have so I could change um, for example the offset so it's six right now why don't we try ten okay that gives a little bit more why don't we try fifteen so we're getting almost there. How about 20? So now at least it covers, you know, it's surrounding all of my things. And you can change the aspect ratio of it. So that would give you the ability to basically stretch it if you wanted to. Um, you can rotate your border if you want to. And you can choose the style of stitching for your border. So right now it's a satin line, but if I'd rather have, I don't know, a backstitch line I can make that change here and the color you can choose the color of your border so why don't we go with I don't know some other color just to change the color doesn't really matter it's not very dark um, now this board this border is actually an outline but what I could do is I could have two borders so why don't I make this one a fill instead of an outline and call it a weave fill and then add a border and the second one is a satin outline. So I added two borders in this case, one as a fill and one as an outline. So you can see here that the monogramming function has lots of potential for creating new and really interesting things. Now I'm going to go ahead and start um, a new one. So I'll click on new and this time we'll just do a name instead of initial. So I'll put my name, Trevor, and create text. And perhaps we'll move it over because I've got it right over top of the other monogram so we'll we'll put that there and then perfect now let's see we've got Trevor we we've got a font we're sort of happy with that font I'll just fix the rotation um, so we're, we're gonna maybe look at adding an ornament and this time instead of adding something from one of my predetermined galleries what if I just went to straight from a design and now it what basically it's doing is opening up all of the uh, embroidery designs that you have in the embroidery album and you could change the location and look in any folder that you've got so let's look for a design that kind of fits with putting around my name um, I guess it really could be anything what about okay what about this clothesline why don't we say okay to that so I'll open up the clothesline and let's just choose to put it below my name so you can see there what we did was we just started with a name and combined it with an embroidery design so yeah that's I'm not sure um, you know the specifically the if that's the reason or the way you're supposed to use the tool but I think that works out really well why don't we try it one more time create a new monogram oh hurry cancel I'll just move over a little bit on my screen create a new monogram go to the lettering and again we'll just go with a name Trevor um, we'll change the font to be something a little bit more sort of streamlined doesn't really matter change the size make it bigger and <clears throat> once you're happy with the way the lettering looks then oh and by the way we have the option for insert symbol and I don't think I've shown that um, yet so if there's a special symbol that you want that you don't just have on your keyboard you can actually scroll through and there's all sorts of different symbols in many of the fonts there's um, 
going to be options for things like accents and stuff like that that you might have in some of the different languages. So if you needed to have a fancy um, letter A with two little dots above it, then you could insert that into the lettering. And so now you can see we've got Trevor with the... So that's how you can insert a symbol. And then, yeah, you could choose to add ornaments or a border to this. So if we said add a border and we'll put Trevor in, oh, I don't know, let's see. Just, it could really be any border you want to. Say okay. And then from there, if I say okay, I can actually select that border And squish it like this so it still becomes a lettering object and like any other lettering object you have that ability to resize it and reshape it just by using the handles that you get and you can choose the reshape option and go in and make other changes to the objects themselves so yeah that's um, a lot more about creating lettering monograms and how you can modify them. So even though I created it as a monogram, I still have the ability to adjust the letter spacing on the individual letters of the monogram by just simply choosing the reshape tool. Okay, so that's creating a monogram using the monogram tool and we've looked at creating lettering using the lettering tool. Now what I'm going to do is just prepare to come back and talk a little bit more about some of the special effects for lettering like lettering art and adding borders.